Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. Welcome everyone to Kingdom Come Deliverance. It is the 15th century or the year 1403, year of our Lord. <laughs> I think it's uh, 1403 up in there in the top right or yeah, top right in the cursor. And uh, yeah, this game was released in 2018. It's a, uh, gosh, there's so many factors to it. I've told there's like some city sim building elements. There's combat. Uh, there's exploration, there's, uh, I think there might even be some survival, um, survival aspects, and it's very story rich and story driven, so I'm definitely going to enjoy this a lot. Um, this one out there is for uh, Josh, I know, uh, thank you for suggesting this game for me, uh, he is also the guy that got me this computer that I play all of my games with, so, you know, I kind of figure I owe him one, and it's a good fan request, you know, I love the medieval role play and all that good stuff that's what we do at uh, amp guard larp and such and um, if jack jack if you're watching this it also reminds me of um, <clears throat> reckoning that hopefully we'll get to go to we'll see reckoning is a very interesting larp um, i don't have time in this video to explain it but if you're watching and you don't know already know what it is look up larp reckoning or reckoning larp it's a very interesting very interesting sort of story-driven LARP. Uh, there's a lot of lore behind it, three factions, multiple classes, all that good stuff. I love all the LARP stuff. I love all the medieval role-play, all that good stuff. I mean, who doesn't, you know? But anyway, uh, without okay, further so, ado, yeah, let's get it started. The late Emperor Charles IV, but now with his son, the idol on the Bohemian throne, was falling into disarray. The king's inactivity angered many of the nobility, as well as his half brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Oh, I, oh, pretty. I, <laughs> I've seen this once before, so I kind of knew I wasn't going to be able to keep up with reading that, but I tried it anyway. <laughs> Now we're just gonna enjoy some of the lovely, absolutely lovely scenery.
Yeah, like I said, year 1403, 15th century. Beautiful. This is also a really good addition for those of you who miss uh, having Besieger on the channel. <laughs> and it's quite the bit of an upgrade. <laughs> Nice armor. If you uh, if you know the channel, you know I'm mostly quiet during cutscenes. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour. Blue blooded idol. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. That means smack the shit out of him. <laughs> smack the dog shit out of that motherfucker. Get your ass up. <laughs> Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. Mm. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slug of egg. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. It is only a flesh wound. Oh, play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. I don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. I play old games so much, I'm not used to such realistic facial expressions in, like, the character actors. It's freaking me out. <laughs> uh. Like, bro, that, that dude looks more real than I do. <laughs> I think I'm the bot. <laughs> what on earth did you get up to last night? Oh! Can't... No, where's my cursor? Oh, okay. Don't need the cursor. <clears throat> character. By means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select your character's default characteristics. If you're not satisfied with them, not to worry. All characteristics can be further developed without limitations. <laughs> mm, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world, and, um... Well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Hmm. Why? Hmm. Hmm. Now let's go agility. Oh, right, the first two options. Right, I did one option. So my main stat would be speech and I'll go agility. Yeah, archery. Matthias was teaching me archery. No, it's just Matthias was teaching me archery. Archery? Do you want to become a poacher? Have you any idea of the punishment for that? And where did you get a bow anyway? Oh, come on. 
I've no interest in poaching. It's just a bit of fun. Christ, give me strength. Just don't do anything stupid. For the love of God. Promise. I promise. Objective started. Go to your father. Hmm. Oh, I see. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. <laughs> Matthew and Fritz aren't drunkards. I never said they were, did I? And if I really minded you going for a beer with them, I'd have put a stop to it long ago. I was young once too, you know. And your father was no angel when he was in Kuttenberg. Of course he wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe me? Ask him yourself. All right, I will. You're not a boy anymore, Henry. You're a man, and it's time to start acting like one. Yesterday you promised your father you'd help at the forge. If you made yourself useful now and then, I wouldn't mind your mischief making so much. Hmm. Okay. Well, we don't want to be talking all day. I think I can end the dialogue. But I I love the voice acting, and and just like the uh, I guess it's the 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 character motions. Ooh, hello. Oh, that's pretty. Reminds me of uh, Elder Scrolls IV: Oblivion. Oh, nice. So do I pick up things? Do I... Well, first I need to go find Paul and help at the forge. Hmm. I should check around for... I mean, there might be stuff to get. Might be good stuff. Open. Huh, carrot. I could get food. Take ten of them. Okay. Oh God, I'm raiding our storehouse. <laughs> I'm a bad son. Take all. So I got carrots and tomatoes, or carrots and app. Were those apples or tomatoes? Apples. Well, these ones are apples. I need to check my. Okay, so I'm learning here. I might need food. You never know. Cabbage? Carrots? Now, I'm thinking about my carry weight. Locked. Easy. God dang. I'm already raiding my own parents. I was like, ah, oh, I'm just gonna go out here and steal all your shit. <laughs> it's my stuff too. I'm a growing boy. I need food. To eat any food, pick it up. In the inventory, in the food tab, select what you want to eat, and then eat by holding E. Okay. Have a bit of cheese before I leaves. Da -da -da. Food. Let's have some cheese. Eat. So, melee weapon, range weapon, head armor, body armor, arm armor, leg plate... Health, energy, nourishment. Mm-hmm. Vitality, speech, and strength and agility. And there's my equipped items. Oh, this is looking great already. Codex, map, quest log, player. Eat more cheese. Now what's my nourishment? 59. Out of 100, I suppose. Have an apple, me boy. 61. 63. Oh, that's two each. Uh, I better save. Uh, save the rest of my food for later. So tab is... Oh, okay, tab tabs in, in between the tabs. Oh, God. Codex. Map. Quest log. Oh, God, there's so much. Father! I've come to help with the food! And I just fucking trip over everything. Like, if that were a real-life scenario, he'd be like a Monty Python character just trips over everything. 
Father, I've come to help at the forge. What's the matter? Can you hear me calling? I'm I'm half deaf, Father. I'm half deaf. <laughs> Sorry, Father. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Somehow I had a feeling I was seeing everything for the first time. How, my boy? When are you going to get some sense? Anyway, we've a lot of work to do to me. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money, then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure will be Love nice it. to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasa. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. Nice. Dude, that's awesome. I've got quests. <laughs> Bunch of fest fetch quests. If I was him, I would have taken notes or something. Quest log. You can file all information about the quest log, and for clarity, they're also indicated on the map as well as the compass in the top of the screen. Oh, boy. Which to do first? Uh, technically, he gave us which ones to do first. Okay. Dibba, 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 dibba. Fine weather. Still up morning. Go to the sword fighting le Oh, God. Go to the sword fighting lesson. Buy a bag of charcoal at the market. Collect the debt from Kanesh. Pick up the cross guard at the castle. Buy ale at the tavern. Hmm. I need to do those in a specific order. I need... I can't buy the bag of charcoal without money. To get money, I need to collect the debt. So, why... Then it, why is it listed A, B, C, D, E? Actually, I love the fact that it's listed in, in um, alphabetical. But... I think I think the collect the debt should be A, right? Because I can't buy a bag of charcoal without money. I can't get money unless I go collect the debt. So I'm gonna go do C first. I am around the back. I was supposed to go around the front. Hello. Wait, is that him? Oi. Yep. You owe my dad money. What do you want? Straight to the point. Father sent me for money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Lying, some bitch. Pay for the tools, at least. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. A fair, a fair. You have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Wow. Hmm. Well, Dad did say that if he says, if he gives me any lip, I'm supposed to tell him that Dad's gonna come and put the nails in his asshole. Right in his ass. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with you can expect a visit. But, I don't know. That's what, that's what Dad told me to say. Well, you want it. I'll tell father you won't pay, and you can tell him what you told me. And don't come back. Most of the quest can be complete. Up, oh, we gonna steal that shit. Hail to the hero. Hmm. Okay, well I can't find Fritz, so I guess I'm gonna go get some apples to sell. I'm gonna sell our produce and try to get money for charcoal that way.
Okay, now I have basically all of our gro like all of our groceries pretty much. <laughs> like we will have literally almost no food. <laughs> but hopefully I'm just I'm going to sell it like we're farmers, you know? And we're you know, like we're selling produce even though this is a blacksmith's. Uh, I think if I sell it to the grocer, it might sell for more. That's just a theory. And I just discovered him, so I'm going to run over there and see if I can get a good deal on this produce. Then I can buy charcoal. Which is odd, though, because, like, he's trying to sell me produce. But I'm going to go sell him produce? I'm not going to lie. I'm a little retarded. Well, let's give it a shot. No, I don't want to steal it. I want to talk to the guy. There we go. Okay. Let's talk trade. Mmm, antidote, apple, bandage, beet. Oh, okay. Lots of stuff. Cool. Okay. So let's start selling some things. Uh huh. Trader's wealth is 80. Good, 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 good. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Do I have 14.5? Is that my gold? Uh, food? Yep, I sold it. Nice. 14.5. I don't know. I don't know if that's enough. We're gonna try. I sold all of our food, Mom and Dad. We're gonna starve. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I sold our food. We're gonna starve. Sorry. So they each cost 0.5. I need 10 of them. Add to basket. Definitely can't do 50. Let's do 10. Let's see. Basket. Your wealth, 14.5. Trader's wealth, 20. Your reputation, 94. Trading items for, trading items for 5. You pay 5. 5 gold. I have 14 gold? Close the... Should I haggle? Nah, it's a... I'll haggle when I'm selling stuff. I do, well, I know it's got to haggle. Can we do something about the price? Oh. Naturally. Hmm. E. Make offer. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. Did it work? Huh. Okay. I completed an objective by selling all of our food. <laughs> so I can still do that. I couldn't find Fritz. I don't know where the heck he's at. Go to the sword fighting lesson, pick up the cross guard at the castle, buy ale at the tavern. Now, Dad said on the way, so I think the cross guard should have actually come first. I'm doing these all back asswards. Forget cross guard. So it should have gone cross guard and then the other stuff, I think. I'm gonna have to learn this. So pretty. Oh, oh, look at that out there. Holy God. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. Uh, I could just walk in? I didn't think so. Uh,. I gotta talk to these guys, I think. Yeah, I didn't think I could just walk in. <laughs> I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Saratic, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? <laughs> uh, give me what I want or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, you're cool shit. <laughs> Magnificent. 
Shame I can't keep a sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. See you later in the tavern. Certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Nice. Okay, okay. Janet Joroslav. Or Joroslav. Something like that. I never did find that other guy. Okay, so now... Pick up ale at the tavern, and there's apparently a sword fighting lesson. I think I think the sword fighting lesson is just his own thing he wanted to do. Running, 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 running. So which one am I headed towards? Looks like I'm headed towards the sword fighting competition. Oh, cutscene, I think. Now that's some hold music I can get behind. Please wait, our operators are standing by. You can't be serious, Dutch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to do. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tartars and besiege Gutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now even the Pope. Don't be with is you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsche Spalian ship. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the Empire! <laughs> Who do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzig is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund. And don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but Goodman Deutsch. This is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words, exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? Too I, Matthew. Should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torch it, to be honest. But, doing some turns will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for my father and a few other things. We're finishing Saratic sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? I don't want to spoil anything, but I think all that stuff I did was pointless. <laughs> oh, or maybe not. Uh... No. Not that I don't want to teach the Deutsche lesson, but I really don't have time. Well, that's disappointing. A reputation yeah. lost. Oh, sad. Let's go, lads. Honestly, hell. How could you pass a good chance like this? Oh, well. Huh. You learned the Western scheme. Schism. Schism? So, is Henry going with us or not? No. Oh. 
What? I'm not following them. I just told them I'm not going with them. They're bad. <laughs> That's a pretty little reef above the door and lovely steps. Ooh. Tab oh, gosh, it's so nice in here. Uh, is that his girlfriend? You too, handsome. What brings you here? Uh, <laughs> ale. Just ale. What else could I expect from a village lab? <laughs> what will it be then, ragamuffin? A pitcher for father. Uh, yeah. I need ale. That is what he asked for. Yeah, that's what he said. Okay. Getting things done. Thanks. It's on me today. You can pay me back this evening. Giggity! Out of the question. Here you go. On this evening, I'll have something more for you. Giggity! I can't wait. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanyan? I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. Ah, oh, the sword. Practicing you? competition. Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. How? I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, Sabir Schnapps. Really? Schnapps? You're an angel. Hot diggity. I hope you thank me properly later. You bet I will. <laughs> God save him. Automatically at part moments during quests and when they sleep in their own bed. To save it immediately, drink Savier Snaps. Oh! <laughs> this is so strong it hit auto saves. <laughs> I've had alcohol like that before. So I think the last thing left was the sword fighting competition and then we're good. I'm just running all over people. I'm sorry. Pardon me, ma'am. Pardon me. So, yeah, I thought it was in that direction. So, oh, I guess it's him. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? <laughs> Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. The world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Mm -hmm. Looking like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Let's go! Yes. Alright, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Good, good, good. Yeah, a little bit of uh, the sword fighting combat tutorial couldn't hurt before I head out on other quests. NPC walking speed. Slower than my walking speed. No, faster... Sl yeah, slower than my walking speed and slower than my running speed. I can't... I can't walk next to him. I can't run next to him. I... There might be something I can press. Oh, that's stealth! Oh, well, I should have done that before just barging into that guy's house. There, now I can follow him. I'm not sure if this music's going to get copy protected, so I may have to add music of my own later on. You discovered the combat arena. But luckily, I have music that's similar to this. And I know it's um, free rights music, so it won't cause any issues. All I, can we get started? all I have to do is add credit to the musical artist. Yes, we can. We can. Good. 
And since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. I, I mean, Henry might have learned some stuff, but I've learned fuck all. Very well. <laughs> Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. A and B? Oh, okay. Oh, you can unlock from your opponent anytime. Oh, okay. Hey. Okay. I'm blocking. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Ugh, not bad. Ugh, now you're getting it. Ugh, good. Ugh, nice. Ugh, fine. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Yeah. You can change strikes together in a combo. Start a strike soon. Watch that stamina. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Nice. New level in SWAD. <laughs> Sorry, I was so hyper focused. You, it, but I'm tired of bursting. Remember, though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned with real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. Nice. I've done it all! I did all of the things! Well, I didn't tech. Hey, thanks for the sword lesson, Master Vanik. Vanik? That was awesome. Um, it looked like there were little directional buttons that indicated where I was about to strike. And of course, I didn't see any blocking, though. But maybe you only block with a shield on this game. Of course, you know... It's always different in every game. Usually in in most games you, you attack with the primary mouse button and you block with the secondary mouse button. In this one, secondary mouse button is your stabbing and then primary mouse button is your slashing. And then you can hold the W, A, S, and D keys to indicate which um, left and right. A and D is obviously just side slashes. And then it looked like you could use upward and downward strikes by holding forward and back during a strike but yeah I, I can tell that gets pretty and then I can tell it gets pretty in-depth and then that's not even taking into account different weapons like hammers axes a shield for blocking and then there's archery which wow can't wait to see that father I returned with the errands and your cold beer which is slightly less cold now because I used time uh, to train swordsmanship before getting the beer but ignore that part ignore it about the things you wanted okay about time have you got everything I wanted sure did uh, I got charcoal and hot beer I have charcoal the hilt and the ale we can start good job Let's have it then, son. Well done. That man wants to get a little bit of drinky drink going on before his work. I can empathize. Master and Sassel did for us. Look at that lad. That's Ooh. my kind of craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Dan Divino. Beautiful. It doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. 
This will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have you got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. I hope you're not hungry after this, because I sold all of our food to get that charcoal. <laughs> all of it. By the way, I heard some gossip about what happened to Deutsch. I expect you know something about it. Maybe. I did not participate Maybe. in the shit slinging. Someone threw dung at Deutsch's freshly lime-washed house, maybe. And maybe those cronies of yours had something to do with it. That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. Got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? Look, I don't know if you're mixed up in this or if it's just those friends of yours. It's all the same to me. But I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody. At least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. I mean, he didn't go with them. I didn't go with them. We'll have this conversation again. Well, so you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of the king? Does that boy ever listen to a word I say? So Deutsch spouts with you. So what? You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth, not your fists. Use your mouth. <laughs> You're wrong! Sucks his dick. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, right, we'll do the grip. It's fine, it's fine. I'm age restricting this, it's fine. Oh. No, it's... When I take it out, <clears throat> you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Ah, uh, unfortunately I have to go. Oh, I wish I didn't. It's nine o'clock, I gotta get to work soon. Time to take a shower and get dressed. But this game has been a lot of fun so far and it looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see the rest of it. I'm loving it so far. Good. Once more. He shouldn't he be wearing gloves? He should definitely be wearing gloves. That's a safety hazard. Somebody call OSHA. Man even wearing gloves. It's like, yeah, you shape the edge of the sword so that the, the hilt will go on it, but he, he's holding the thing. He ain't even got gloves. His hand slips. Burns. Instant burns. Terrible burns. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Oh, shucks. Charles. I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague, a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau, and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here. We'll put it all together. See? He's got gloves on. It's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Okay. Now, the cutscenes for this game, uh, they're not too long or anything, but 
uh, I gotta get to work real soon. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to end it off here. And she's just gonna keep laughing. She's just like, <laughs> it's great. So I'm gonna go get the nails for her and then uh, we'll continue on with storyline. I just don't wanna get wrapped up in anything like major huge when I gotta get to work. Cause uh, you know, like uh, if I don't go to work, then I can't pay the bills. And if I can't pay the bills, then the <laughs> there, will, there will be no streaming. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching my first episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. I might be able to add this to a live stream. I'm not sure because um, I'm going to... I might not have to age restrict the game. I'm not sure. I haven't seen anything bad yet. I've, I've said worse things than the game has. So we'll see. Maybe I might be able to live stream it. If I do live stream it, I might have to age restrict it. And if I do, it shouldn't be too bad because it's just... The combat's got a lot of blood, gore, and violence and whatnot, uh, which is fine. So, you know, I, I could live stream it, and then, uh, and then, uh, yeah, yeah, set it for, an, uh, like, an age restriction and all that good stuff. So, so, save and quit. And then that's, um, thank you all so much for watching the first episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. There's more on the way. I just need to finish the other series. I've got all the different spinning plates got my hands in so many different things but I'm loving this I think it's a great addition to the channel and it's like it's gonna be a long game I, I don't know if it has an end like storyline obviously yeah but with all the classes and leveling and, and all the stuff you can do I can imagine that like it, I mean it's an RPG they just they nowadays they don't end <laughs> but yeah thank you all so much for watching I hope you all enjoy this series I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, let me know in the comments section below. Likes are always appreciated. It helps the channel and it helps the YouTube algorithm push my video content out to more people. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, consider it. It's free and only takes two clips, uh, two clicks, and it'll make me happy. You know, it's just like it'll help me out. I appreciate it. Uh, for those of you that are subscribed, I appreciate you. And for those of you that are just checking out the channel but haven't subscribed yet, I'm glad you just checked it out. I'm glad you're here. You know, uh, there's a billion and one different YouTube Let's Play channels out there right now. Everybody of this very moment. You know what? You know what really? You know what really grinds my gears? At this very moment, everyone I have seen on the platform is streaming Hogwarts Legacy. That's it. And guess what? This... Right now, as of this recording, this is Wednesday evening. I'm about to have to go to work Wednesday evening. The game is released on the 10th. That's on a fucking Friday. No, I don't have to sit to myself. That's on a fucking Friday. I took time off from work specifically to pre-order the game and have it downloaded and live streaming it the instant it's released. Now, I realize that YouTube streamers like Mark and Jack with millions and millions of subs, they can get access to games a bit early. You know, and play them like a week before anybody else. Even the people that have pre-ordered the game. But I've seen people like... With like... Everybody streaming it. It's everywhere. So maybe I should have pre-ordered it. Um, uh, and I, I, don't, I don't understand. Like, the only option is to pre-order it. There's no like, purchasing. Like, but it's not released yet. So how are they getting access to it? Is it a demo? I don't know what they're doing. Some people, like, that's, it happens every single time I pick out a new series. I'm like, I'm going to make this for the channel. Then everybody jumps on the bandwagon, and they're on episode 10 before the game is released. And all 10 of their episodes are an hour long, and they're halfway done with the game already. And I'm like, that happened with Final Fantasy X and X2. Uh, no, it was the Final Fantasy VII Remake for the PlayStation 4. I got it the day it was released and everyone was already on their fifth or sixth episode. They were already halfway through the game and I had just picked it up. I'm not doing that crap again. If I want to play it, I'll probably do it on my own time. You know, let people enjoy their favorite streamers streaming it. This game's been out for four, four or five years now, so if people are checking this out, you know, it, it means that they're just here because of me. Because of me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it, it's it's crazy, man. People, they're they're streaming it a week before it comes out. It's I don't I don't know how they're doing it. They're I don't know I don't know who's I don't know who's um I don't know who who's chode they're sucking on, but they're doing a damn good job. 
Anyway, thanks all for watching the episode. See you all in the next one. Bye-bye.